Hi, this is Shane, and welcome back to another episode of the Witch of Windenburg Challenge. And made a couple of changes. One of the major ones is we now have a butler. Because, um, to be honest, I think that's the kind of thing that Audrey would do. She would have a butler, because why not? And, um, and also because I've never had a butler. I've never used the butlers. So, um... The butler is Re Re Rico, Rico. I think. Um, assign bed to butler, Rico. Yeah, that's right. So this is her room up here. Um, for some reason, I knew it was going to be a woman, so it's. I just made it slightly pretty. I don't know why I thought that, but there you go. And also, downstairs, up here's really dark. These are, I should have guessed these are just spotlights, but they're just really, really dark. Um, downstairs, I've put in a laundry room. Because, what's the point of having a butler if there's no clothes to pick up? So, she's going to be basically washing clothes. Uh, Matt, are you going off to work? Yeah. Um, slice of life has pills in it now and all my sims seem to be taking pills so Matt's just taken one and I don't know what buffs it's gonna give him but he's gone to work and Caden Caden's just around oh he's gonna chat to the butler okay why are you sad Caden um, from being alone. Okay, fine. But we're waiting for, um, for Carrie to come home from school. Uh, let's move this out of the way. Yeah, if anybody's going to make friends with the butler, it would be Caden. He's that kind of really friendly, chatty person. Uh, Yasmin is sitting next to the new kid at lunch when she spots something pink in his lunch bag. Is that a bib? The kid smiles nervously and claims that he got his baby sister's lunch again. Then the bib falls out where everyone can see it. Pick it up or ignore it? Just ignore it. Okay, lunch is almost over when the class notes bully notices the bib on the floor. He can't wait to find the little baby who dropped it. But the new kid says nothing and neither does Yasmin who may have just made a new friend. But that's sweet. That is very sweet. Although, that being said, I did know a kid in real life who had... Their mum used to make them wear a bib. Um, not sure why. They were like six or something. And their mum used to make them wear a bib. It's a bit embarrassing. So those things do happen. Uh, right. So yeah, I don't know. I have to apologise. It's raining really hard today. So I don't know if you can hear it over the recording. I don't think you can, but just in case, I'm apologising for the weather. I'm not sure why I'm apologising for the weather, because I didn't cause the weather. But I apologise anyway. Right, let's put you on fast forward. And wait for Carrie to come back home. Oh, she doesn't like Caden. Why don't you like Caden? Everybody likes Caden. You've made him embarrassed. Is that what you're going to do all day, Butler? That's like 300 simoleons that you're being paid to stand around and just... What do butlers do, though? Uh... Don't know what butlers do. Not cleaning up that. Or putting it away. Uh, Caden starts work in an hour. He's tense because, oh, okay, from the awkward socialization. Do you not have to go to work? Oh, six minutes. Go on. Go to work. Leave the butler just standing there. I mean, we're not going to be playing this household for very long, so we can afford to have the butler just standing there and doing nothing. Is that what they really do? Uh, okay, invite Wolfgang, because we need a significant other to, um, okay, 
Again with the slice of life stuff. All right, we want medicine. Oh, big TV's in the way. And we want... Nope. Where are we? More choices. And we want products. That should make you feel better. You're bored. Um, ask about woohoo. That should be interesting. He's tired. He's angry. But what happens if you ask about woohoo? Uh, nothing? Improve their friendship? <laughs> okay. Um... Kaden has made the best Kitty Lichter jingle ever, but when he pitches it to his client, the VP of Dumbing Things Down asks him to work in the word piddle, based on recent market research. Should he make the change or fight for his art? Uh, make the change. Uh, the jingle is worse, but the VP is happy. Happy clients mean more work for Caden, and that's more imp important than creative fulfillment, right? Exactly. All right, you two. Let's see if we can get you to... Uh... Okay, if I ask you for a Wonderland pill, is that going to be better or worse? All right, is he scaring you off the, the Wonderland pill? He could be scaring you off the Wonderland pill. Apologize. Why are you apologizing? All right, let's see if we can... um. Oh, good grief. We're not apologising again. Uh, arts for study group. You trash talking your mum? Oh yeah, because you and her don't get along. Uh, friendly. Let's see if we can stargaze or cloud gaze or whatever. Alright, Matt's home. Let's not just stand up in the porch. Not right now, Luna. We're trying to trying to get to know Wolfgang. We're opening up our options. Alright, Audrey, you can Audrey, you've had a oh no, you've I thought you had a Wonderland pill. Now you're just going to pass out here. Matt, you're... you're high or something. Do you look high? You don't look high. You just look a little bit derpy. That's all. Right, so Matt, go and find some... Oh, you've got a bladder infection. Go and find something to do. Go and sleep something. Go sleep it off. Yeah, walk on Wolfgang's head. As you do. And the butler's still standing there. Why is she still standing there? The butler's really bought. Was she standing there the entire time? I don't know. Okay, Carrie, you are... Let me see. Alright, Carrie, you are just hanging out with Wolfgang. Uh, Yasmin, you want... Oh no, see that's another slice of life thing. They've always got like all these insults and stuff coming in. Right, who's unclean? Uh, 
So, do you not look after your own needs? I don't know. I don't know how butlers work. Because there's bathroom. Do we have to assign a bathroom to them as well? I don't know. Is she just going to stand there the entire time? Right, your days because... Oh, so she did take it. Okay. Because we're well on our way to being a bad girl. You're a teenager. Alright, so Carrie, where is... Is Wolfgang in the house? He is. Well, maybe we should go over to Luna's. I don't know how we... What is our standing with Luna? Not much. Wolfgang, not much. Maybe we should go on another blind date. It's Friday night. Let's go on a blind date. Oh, there you go. Oh, she's taking up the plate to stand there. I don't know. I really don't know what's going on with butlers. All right, let's let's have a blind date then. Um, social, Demda dating app. Uh, let's have a blind date. Because you've got all weekend to do your homework. Okay, we're on a date. We've got um, Dwayne. Friendly introduction. And you're hungry. That's fine. Dwayne does not, no matter which save I'm in, Dwayne does not get along with anybody. What is the point of Dwayne? He does not get along with anybody. It's ladies' night. Let's go order some food. Order food. Fish and chips. Okay. Uh, Socialise with your date. So, um, get together. This is really dark. I don't know why it's so dark. Okay, don't sit together. Oh, you can sit there. We can still socialize. Um, discuss food flavors. I really need to make a, a, a restaurant for like couples. Um, really? Um, discuss interests. What else? Compliment appearance. Give gift. That might help. Simoleons. Pay him off. See, he liked that. That was better. Um, sit and talk. Sit and talk. Does that... Or if you have to sit and talk, or just one of you? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay. You're both sitting and talking. Uh, what else? That didn't work. You both have to sit here? Alright, sit together. And now talk. Uh, enthuse about outdoors. Hopefully you're not going to get up. Um, discuss interests. Oh, there you go. 
Oh, discuss. See, I knew that was coming. I'm just psychic like that. I knew that was coming. Okay, that's good. Can we try uh, tell a joke with your date? Um, funny joke about engineers. So maybe we should do that with all of them. You just pay your blind date at the beginning and then you get enough to uh, tell your date a story. Funny. Tell a funny story. Um, romance. Compliment appearance. Okay, it's usually when you start spamming the romantic stuff, it goes downhill, but let's see. Um, have a deep conversation. Okay, he likes that. Deep conversation. Where's deep conversation? Um, I'm not seeing deep conversation. There you go. Deep conversation. Um, okay, flirt with your date. Right, this is where it usually goes downhill, but exchange numbers. That comes on the flirt, right? Okay, keep going. Uh, that was cool. Um, romance. Pick up line. Okay, he liked that too. Alright, Carrie, you're working your magic. Not bad. Um, romance. Uh, blow a kiss. That can't count as kiss your date? I don't think so. But no. Oh, it's a suggestive conversation now. Oh, he's blowing kisses back. All right, cool. Um, embrace. Okay, she's in a flirty mood. Fresh catch. Okay, fresh fish. Okay, that's cool. All right, let's see if we can get a kiss. Um, first kiss. Get a kiss, get a kiss, get a kiss. Can we get a kiss? Yeah, we did. Alright, cool. Um whisper seductively. Can we get every can we get both of us both of them? He's flirty. Why is she not no, she is flirty, but dazed is taken over. But it's okay. We have um we have gold. It's fine. Attempt to seduce. Oh, can we ask him to be boyfriend? Ask no 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 that's not what I wanted. Um Oh yes, I just saw it. Ask to be boyfriend. Because we need a significant other. Brilliant. Okay, sorry Luna, you didn't, this didn't go as well. Um, attempt missile toe kiss. Didn't go as well. But Luna, we, we've saved you. There you go. Luna, we've saved you because you're just going to get your heart broken by Carrie. You are just going to get your heart broken. He's like, yeah, got to take a selfie. Successful date and all of that. Okay, well, you might as well get changed out of your party clothes. Go back to your regular stuff. Actually, I think that was your summer outfit. Right. Right, well, going up to bed. We've done pretty good. Oh, the butler's come back. Does the butler leave when somebody else leaves? We gave the butler a bed, didn't we? Uh, assign bed to butler. Rico.
Much as I like the slice of life mod, I think I'm gonna take take out the the period bit because it is just too micromanagey. I wouldn't mind if like NPCs could look after themselves, or whatever, but it's not happening. I'm gonna have to take it out. If I wasn't if I wasn't managing multiple multiple let's plays. I'd be like, yeah, it's fine, but it's really annoying. Alright, what's the point of having a bed? Alright, Caden, can you come up here? Maybe she can't reach the bed. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. It could be too that the door, because I locked the door for everybody except her, as in the butler. But, uh, allow access to Butler. That might be it. What am I doing? Yeah, because he can come. He can't go in. If I told him to sit there, right, you can't go in. That's fine. But the butler is still... Can you tell the butler to go to bed? Uh, hook up in bed, no. That's one of the other mods I have. I'm not sure which one. Butler. Oh, okay. Oh, management. Uh, praise. Okay, responsibilities. I oh, know you're doing everything. Assign task. Go to sleep. Okay. I didn't realise I had to tell her what to do. Yeah, it's four in the morning. Go to sleep. Um. Alright, so now she's going to sleep. Good, good. Right, I didn't realise you had to tell her what to do. I thought you she would have just done whatever she's doing. Yasmin, why are you... Oh my god, you've come to talk to your mum. Ask for advice. It's four in the morning. The only person that's got any sense in their head is um is is Carrie. Is she sleeping? Okay, um Right, you have a bladder infection. You know what I should really put a bathroom downstairs? Didn't think about that one. Never mind. Maybe I could, maybe I could put it on the side of the stairs, maybe. Just a cloakroom. Cloakroom? Half a toilet. Half a bathroom. Alright, so the butler should be sleeping. Buddy, you should be, how long does this bladder infection last? Two hours, okay. You go and sleep then. Yasmin, you need to go and sleep. You don't like to go to sleep at all. And you two, alright, she's on her period, so that means she can't get pregnant. You can woohoo with your husband. Because I don't want any, and we don't need any babies in this one. Uh, okay, so that's everybody doing something. Saturday morning. And we need... Let me see. Okay, we need to get Dwayne to move in. Um, I don't know why it doesn't stay, but it probably. Uh, more choices. Got menstrual relief. That's fine. We're going to have to invite Dwayne over and we need to add him to the household. Because I don't know if I have invite teens. Do I have invite teens to move in? Because you got to cheat to do it. So, oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's enabled. Okay, so he should be able to come in. 
All right, let us. All right, it's eight thirty. Call Dwayne. Invite him over. Um, Dwayne. And that's yeah. Like I, I was, I was there hating on Dwayne because in all my other saves, whenever he's dated any of my Sims, they've had really, really awful dates. But you know, obviously. It's not the same with Carrie. There's something about Carrie that he likes. Right, let's close that. I really have to remember to close windows. There's Dwayne. Right, can we get you to move in? He's very polite. Um, passionate kiss. Because you know, you're going to want to flaunt it in your mother's face that you have a boyfriend and you don't care. But then again, as teens, can they do that? I mean, like, in an unmodded game, because I know I've got so many mods in here, but... Okay, express love for Dwayne. And... friendly. More choices. Um, get to know. Do we have an option to ask him to move in? I don't think we do. Okay. We don't have an option. What are they? No, 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 no. Oh, but then again. Did they stop? They stopped. Okay. But yeah, we're, we're not going to do the whole try for baby thing. Right, no. I know you want to. I know you're a couple of teenagers and the hormones are going and stuff. But no, we are not trying for baby. Um, How do we get him? All right. Wake up. I oh, know. Unpause the game, Shane. Might help. I was doing the music, but we stopped them. They're not actually doing anything. And also, she's on her period, so she can't get pregnant, but mess around. Oh, propose? Oh yeah, because I can do that, can't I? Mess around. your teenagers, so that could work. Oh, we might not have a high enough bar, relationship bar. As in, like, friends and stuff, to get the whole move in. Because I think you've got to be good friends with somebody. Oh, your parents' bed. I didn't even realise. You're messing around in your parents' bed. Oh, good grief. Well, I guess if, you, if you're going to go... If you're going to be bad, you might as well go all the way. Go big or go home. And, oh god, and your mother's just walked past the door. Although, why does Mess Around have the same animations as if they're woohooing? But they did it with their clothes on, so that's... What, oh god. Now she's like, yeah, I want to sleep next to you. Alright, that's fine. Uh, not in your mum's bed. Come, get up. Okay, they are going to be a very hands-on couple. I can see that. Uh, all right. How's your relationship with him now? Is there enough to be friends, kiss hands, um, friendly? Um. All right, ask the cloud gaze. They are a very handsy couple. Um, I just saw the cloud gaze. Where's it gone? Where has it gone? Really? All right, let's try again. More choices. Friendly. Arcs the cloud gaze. Right. So we need a significant other, which we have. But we need him to flirt with somebody else in front of your sim. Oh, is the butler still sleeping? Suddenly occurred to me. I wasn't really looking for her. No, she's not. Oh, she's reading. 
I guess she'll keep keep doing what she's doing. Alright, where are we? Alright, we need to get your friendship up a bit more. And then um We can invite Luna over and he can flirt with Luna. Okay, she just became good friends with him. Awesome. Right, so now let's see if we have... Do we get... Um, study group. Marks to hang out. Marks to be friends. Brave about growing up. I'm not seeing an ox to move in. But we will have to invite him later. Invite him back later, I should say. Alright, he's gone. Let's invite him back. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, no. Dwayne. Invite to hang out. And what is he? He is a bro. He's a goofball. Okay. But we'll invite him back. And if we don't get... If we don't, if it doesn't pop up in the in his menu, we will just add him to the family. Um, voices friendly. I'm not seeing invite to move in. Okay, so maybe that's not going to. All right, let's pause that there. Who are you? Alexander Goth. Okay. Yasmin, you can come and talk to Alexander. Friendly introduction. And you're there. Where is Dwayne? Dwayne is over there. Alright. MC Command Center. Um. MC commands. Oh, have I got child adoption on? Oh no. No, we don't want to do that. Um, right, that's not what we want. No commands. No, that's what we just looked at. Relationships. No. And um, make some leave, cheat some info. Is it under there? Back. No. MC control. Choose a target sim. Oh, okay. Um, next. Okay, I didn't know we could do that. I've learned something. Right, let's pause that there. Let's see if we can work out how to add him to the household. Can we just move him in? Because I think we can actually. Uh, manage worlds. Save and go to manage worlds. Oh, you know what? We probably could have done it via the phone boxes. Not the phone box, the mailbox as well. But that's okay. Alright, um... Other households. Joe and um, he is Sulani. So and click everybody. But you can't search Sulani. There he is. And transfer Sims. And select a household. that be under my households, Glimmerbrook, McBride, Nani, Makoa, Lani, Wayne, and add you. 
Okay, so we didn't need to cheat. You can legitimately add him. Okay, and these are not... Okay, that's fine. So now he's part of the household. So it, it says in the um, in the notes for this, it does say you can cheat to do it, but we didn't have to. He's now part of the household. Yeah, I'm definitely going to take out um, the whole thing because I just end up telling them to put the tampons in and to take medication and it's annoying all right so there's Dwayne he's there and he's flirty so you will end up sleeping with oh why are you so are oh, you being bullied that's the other thing slice of life uh I spend my whole time just talking about slice of life I might just take it out okay so This is going to be a slightly longer episode, but that's okay. We need flirty flirtatiousness going on. All right. Um, okay. I'm hideous. It's fine. Don't overreact. All right. So, Carrie, we need you to invite over Luna. Uh, friends? That's it. I mean, she's an acquaintance. So that's fine. We're going to get this because next week we're going to start on the next chapter of her life. Who's that? That is Travis Scott. Isn't he a rapper? He's a rapper. Travis Scott is a rapper. Suddenly occurred to me. I, I knew I knew the name and it's like, yeah, but yeah, he's a rapper. Um, yeah, random thing. There is Luna. Go talk to Luna. Friendly introduction. Oh god, but he's sad though. He's in a playful mood, but he's sad. Alright, friend. But anyhow, it doesn't matter if the interaction is accepted or not right you go here and yeah it doesn't matter whether they're whether it's inter whether it's accepted or not he just has to flirt with her so let's go in for the kill romance oh god gloomy compliment yeah you're too sad to Okay, he flirted, and you, and she runs off. Where are you going? No, not to nap. Come and argue with her. Come and argue. Come and argue. Uh, mean. Go to work, Dwayne. Run away. Alright, romance. No, not romance. Mean. Um, insult. Yeah, Dwayne's gone off. So Dwayne flirted with her. She didn't like it, which is fine. He's gone off to work. And now we're going to fight. Alright. Mean. Give the cold shoulder. Throw shade. Um, attempt to steal money. Oh, yep. Mean. Argue. Argue about school. Oh, well then again, you forget who you're messing with. It's Luna. Shove. Oh, Slice of Life gave her a buff. <laughs> Look at that face, though. I don't know if you can see it, but, you know. She has a black eye. She has a black eye and bruising around her mouth. You can't tell with all the makeup, but she does. 
But they they hate each other, which is what we wanted. And just one more fight. We just need one more fight. It's an offensive conversation. Yep. Go on. Fight. 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 We need a fight. Are we going to get a fight? No. You're going to not chat with Luna. Fight. Or maybe that was what was going to happen. Mean. Fight. Okay, we've got our fight and they hate each other. Definitely hate each other. So I would say mission accomplished. So next week we will start chapter two, Exiled. So um, yeah, I think we've done everything we were supposed to do. So before we go, let's just aid you up. All right, um, help forbidden words. Yeah, let's go get a birthday cake and let's aid you up. Alright, come, cook a cake, quick. Okay, so... I know, it's it's really annoying. But, you know... Yeah, angrily make that cake. When you're angry, just stomp around the house and... stuff. Alright, where has she gone? It's an awful cake. Oh my god. Add birthday candles? Okay. Um, I know. We can do the age up thing. Age up. Teens. Did we not? Are you not aging up? Okay. Didn't like that. Alright. Let's put this in the middle of the counter. Alright. Add birthday candles. For whatever reason, it didn't like that. Wayne, did it make you an adult? I hope not. Oh, he's here. Oh, you're still a teen. That's fine. And... Blow out candles. Whoa, now we're an adult. Or a young adult. And it's time to go on to the next part of our life. So... Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.